Times now 448. Peyton, oh my gosh, that just the blaring of horns for a minute makes me mad. It's awful, isn't it? All right, 448 here on your Tuesday morning. The weather about to get really nice and stay pretty, really nice for the entire work week. So no complaints here. We do have some of those uh, clouds still lingering from our disturbance we saw yesterday that brought us all the clouds. Just a little bit of clouds this morning, but by this afternoon we'll be under uh, completely sunny skies and we'll have some pretty comfortable temperatures. We're going to get into the mid to upper 50s this afternoon and notice there are your clouds, but by 9, 10 o'clock they clear and then a lot of sunshine this afternoon and that's the way it's going to stay for the most part the rest of the week. Now tonight's going to be another cold one. We're going to continue to still have cold mornings, maybe a little frost each morning north of the lake, but the afternoons uh, we rebound into the 50s and eventually the 60s. So for tonight, once again, I would go ahead and continue to protect plants on the North Shore. It's in that close enough criteria to where you might not get to freezing, but you might have a little frost. So it's better safe than sorry in a lot of cases uh, for those plants. But remember, you don't want to leave them cover constantly. That can actually do a lot of harm. So make sure they are getting some sunshine and able to breathe uh, during the afternoon hours when we're well above freezing and we got a lot of sunshine. South of the lake, your plants are probably going to be fine. We'll be in the upper 30s and low 40s. Now the warm is going to continue. We're all the way into the upper 60s by Friday and Saturday. We'll be near 70 degrees, so some really nice weather. Each day we'll have sunshine. Saturday night, though, Another cold front. That means it's, we're going to be chilly by the beginning of next week. So Sunday, we're in the 50s. Monday, Valentine's Day, by the way, will be in the upper 50s. So we're not done with the cold fronts just yet, and that's pretty typical for this time of year. Now, when that front moves through on Saturday, it looks like the chance of rain with it's going to be pretty low. Right now, I threw in a 10% chance just because there's still a lot of uncertainty uh, with track and timing, but right now it doesn't look like a huge weather maker. We'll keep an eye on it and be checking back in daily just because we have simply so much going on on the weekend right now. We've got parades. We've all got outdoor things to do. Right now, the chance of rain looks pretty low. So why are there so much uncertainty? Well, the storm systems are a long ways away. Whenever we're tracking storm systems that are over five days out, they're usually thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away. This is the United States looking at the water vapor. The storm system that's going to cause our cold front. It's part of a couple things. There's a little spin off the coast or near Japan. That's part of it, and there's other parts that are out in the Pacific. So that's five to seven thousand miles away. There's a lot that could change in between that five to seven thousand miles. So that's why we call it forecast uncertainty. And the further out in time you go, the more uncertainty you're going to have because it's further away. So that cooler air will right up over this ridge. Come on down and get to us by Saturday night into Sunday. But right now it doesn't look like a huge Arctic outbreak, but definitely another burst of some chilly air. So there's your seven day forecast. Ah, oh, you love to see all the sunshine icons. You love to see the 60s back in the forecast. Your mornings are going to stay chilly, but your afternoons are going to be really, really nice. April